We're live! Hi guys! Sorry it took me a little extra minute to get onto <laughs> Facebook. Is the lot is it's been kind of wonky lately. I'm gonna fix my lighting. Oh yeah, that's better. All right. So. I know tonight was supposed to be a uh, pop Pilates class. However, we're switching it up. And we are switching it up because I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> um, have you ever slept wrong and woke up the next day and your whole, like your neck and your shoulders and your upper back and your arms were just like, yeah, that's me, um, for lack of words. <laughs> um, so instead of trying to push myself through a pop Pilates class, I'm going to listen to my body and I'm really going to stretch it out um, in a little yin class that's focused on the upper body. Because like I said, it's from like the base of my neck all the way down my right shoulder blade. Ooh, right where I hold all that stress. So if any of you hold your stress in your upper back, like I do, this will be an excellent class for that. Um, you do not need any props, but if you are familiar with Ian and you like props and have them at home, feel free. You don't even really need a mat, but just with how I am feeling today, and if you are feeling the same as me, <laughs> feel free. I'm giving myself a little extra cushion with the blanket and I think this class is going to run pretty close to an hour maybe 45 50 minutes um so just a little bit about yin yin is on the restorative spectrum of yoga it is my favorite I call it the little sister to restorative yoga um, so what we really do in this class is we focus on range of motion and flexibility and so how we do that is we hold poses, which are going to be seated, laying down, and we have one standing. Don't worry. <laughs> seated, laying down, kneeling, um, and one little standing one um, for anywhere from two to five minutes. And the reason we hold the poses that long is because you really don't get to work into the muscles and the ligaments and the tendons and the fascia, that kind of spider webby netting around us that is the reason why most of us are inflexible because we have some really tense muscles, tendons, ligaments, um, fascia, is if we don't hold it for a while, you don't really get to work into that <coughs> um, and loosen that up, which helps with flexibility and range of motion. So think about it as like this little spider web that as you sleep overnight or sit at your desk all day, it just kind of hardens, which is why you get stiff or if you sleep wrong, <laughs> you end up feeling like me. Or you know, when you stand up and your knees and your hips are feel tight, it's because that fascia is kind of hardened from lack of movement and lack of stretching. So yin is kind of like DW40. <laughs> Think of the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. So yin is kind of like that little oil can that gets you going and gets those kinks out. It is deeply relaxing and restorative. Um, it's amazing. There are three, I could talk about yin for forever. So I digress. Woo! All right. So three principles of yin. The first one is time, which I've already talked about. We'll be in these poses anywhere from two to five minutes to really get in, in there and really work things out and stretch them out. The next one is appropriate depth. So by this, I mean, if you are in say a forward fold, a seated one, listen to your body. Your hamstrings are going to lead the way. So once you kind of feel that tug, pause there because again, we're here longer, we're holding longer. So we don't need to really get into the full expression right away. We can gently work our way in and I will remind you guys as we move through class. And then the next one is resolve to remain still. So once you get comfortable, 
or as comfortable as you can. Try to be still. Try, try to fidget or move too much or fix things like your clothing or your blanket or things around you, which can be hard at home. <laughs> um, trust me, I know. And then the last one is um, one that I've just added. It's my personal one. I leave a lot of room for silence in my yin classes. I don't really talk that much except for now. <laughs> and getting you guys into the poses with options because I feel like this is a really good time to do some of that self-study, that yoga philosophy. Um, it's a time to check in with yourself, find some peace, find some quiet, find some relaxation. <sighs> Not have people yakking at you, telling you what to do. <laughs> um, I really love yin. It took me a long time to love it. I was a power yogi, heated, um, but as my journey unfolds with yoga, I've realized that you really need to be stretching and mindful and all that fun stuff. So this is an upper body in. So we're really going to get into the shoulders, triceps, all that good stuff. And let's hurry up just a little bit. So we're going to start with a grounding meditation. And so we're going to start on our backs. If you have socks on, try to take them off for this one. Let's see if it's saved. I wrote this on my other phone. <laughs> there it is. Yay, it's saved. Okay. Oh, so we're going to lay down. And we're going to plant our feet on the ground. And I'm going to sit up though, <laughs> so I can read this. So, welcome to this grounding meditation. Today, you focus on connecting to the earth below and the cessation of ultimate relaxation. Make sure you are in a very comfortable position in a place where you can fully enjoy your time. It is best if you have your feet planted on the floor without shoes or socks for this grounding session. First, become aware of your breath, and when you do so, you might take a nice deep breath in. Breathing in as much as you can, and when you exhale, feel your body relax. If you haven't already, allow your eyes to close if that's comfortable for you. And let's become aware of the bottoms of your feet as well as the tips of your toes. Your feet have been taking you so many places over the years and they deserve to fully relax and let go. So allow relaxation to amplify in your feet by simply placing awareness on them. Breathe in deeply, feeling comfortable and relaxed. All of your attention is on the soles of your feet. Imagine that this is what connects you to the earth. Each step you take has made a difference in your life and moved you through hard times as well as achievement. Breathe in deeply and send your feet love and respect for everywhere they have taken you. Now imagine the earth below supporting your every move. The ground is your place of connection and no matter how high up you go or how long your feet are elevated, you always become grounded once again. Become aware of the ground below you, wherever it may be, and know that it is a source of pure connection to all there is. Imagine now that from the bottoms of your feet, the roots of your soul are growing and extending down towards the earth. They make contact with the soil below, wherever it may be, and you feel the instant connection and security filled with unconditional love. You are so relaxed as you feel this amazing connection with the earth. 
Feel those roots strong and unbreakable. Feeling them grounding you. The soles of your feet are strong and resilient, allowing you ultimate relaxation. Now breathe in deeply. Imagine that you're drawing this powerful experience of ultimate relaxation up your legs, feeling your body relax as it releases any tension along the way. Breathe in again, allowing this feeling to travel up into your hips and pelvis, deeply relaxing you. Breathing fully and again, allowing the feeling of ultimate relaxation to travel up into your abdomen and ribs. Noticing how being grounded is such a blessing. Feel the connection travel into your chest and lungs gracing your heart with love. The deep relaxation is now moving up your neck, deleting any tension there. This relaxing sensation goes into your entire head, training all of your muscles and bones to become fully relaxed, all the way to the top of your head. Notice how you feel right now. You are fully grounded, perfectly deeply relaxed. Begin to slowly draw your awareness to the present moment, returning your thoughts to your current surroundings. Breathe in deeply again. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes and hold on to the sensation of feeling grounded and relaxed. From here, we're gonna come into alligator. So we're gonna start out with a very gentle little baby back bend. So just stack the palms and rest the forehead. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. From here, bring the arms out to a T. We're gonna come into my favorite, it's a shoulder stretch. Place the right hand underneath the shoulder and tip over onto the left. Ooh, I can feel that, guys. And your <laughs> right foot kind of comes behind, like you can see mine, like a kickstand. And then, depending on how much you wanna roll, you bring that right hand closer or farther away from you. I'm gonna move my timer so I can see it. Breathing here. Trying to find some comfort and relaxation.
slowly come back to center. And then we're gonna find a bow tie. This is another really kind of intense stretch, I think. So left hand's gonna come close to the body. Right hand crosses over, palms face down, and kind of pull the arm so you feel it. Woo! And that upper shoulder blade. <laughs> oh guys, I'm telling you. Definition of slept wrong and you would see my picture. <sighs> if you're noticing that certain parts of your upper body are really tense or tight, really visualize that space as you exhale. Visualize sending your breath to that spot. slowly release. Now we're going to take it over to the right side with that shoulder stretch. So same as our left. Left hand comes under. Tip over onto that right. Your left foot comes behind. Ooh. And bring that hand as close or as far depending on how you want to. Tip over and get into that shoulder. Continuing to breathe and just relax into the pose.
slowly coming back. And we're gonna make our way back into the turn to face you guys. So that bow tie again. This time right hand comes really nice and close. Left hand comes in front. And again, remember to really pull those arms so you can feel this in your shoulder blades. Slowly release and make your way into that alligator pose again. So just stack the palms, rest the forehead. Just taking a moment to give your shoulders a break. slow here. So inhale, drop to the belly, lift to gaze. Exhale, pose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. back to center. We'll do a nice little thread the needle. So we'll bring the right arm nice and high. Exhale, bring it through. Keep the hips over the knees. I like to stretch my arm out. You can leave it under. Ooh. Ooh, this is another one I'm kind of feeling. And try not to shift your weight over to that right leg. You want to keep your hips, both of them above the knees.
slowly come back to that tabletop. And we're gonna come into puppy pose. And so I have some options for you guys here. First one, walk the hands out, bring the chest down. You're really gonna feel this in between the shoulder blades again, in the chest. If that gets to be too much, cross the arms and just rest the forehead. So just make sure that you still have enough of a decline that you can really stretch out the chest. Again, keeping the hips over the knees, equal weight distributed up between both sides. back to that tabletop and move through some cat cows at your own pace.
Standing. So usually with yin, we don't stand in class. Uh, but when it comes to the upper back, one of my absolute favorite poses is a standing forward fold. So why I like this before we dive in uh, is because when you think about how, even right now, how we're standing, gravity is just pushing down on you. So all the weight from your head, everything is just kind of compressing onto your shoulders and compressing your spine. So when we're in that forward folds, it finally gives your back and your spine a chance to have a break, to decompress, to elongate, to kind of get rid of gravity for a couple minutes. And I've noticed that even if I'm at work, <laughs> um, and I know nobody can see me, I will stand up and I will hold a forward fold for four or five breaths just to relax the shoulders because it's a desk job. Um, so usually at some point my shoulders, my upper back, my arms get stiff. So if you have the chance, um, I always recommend doing a standing forward fold and holding it. Again, while we're in the pose, I just want to visualize you to visualize your spine breathing a sigh of relief and just getting nice and long and tall. It's so great. So before we do that, we're gonna stand, palms face forward, close the eyes, and we're just going to breathe. We've done a lot of work into the upper back. So if I wanna just give those muscles a break for a minute, and I also wanna come back to that sensation of grounding. So really feeling the corners of the feet in the mat, in the ground, in the blanket. Feeling that foundation, that support. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. One more round, inhale, five, four, three, two, and one, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Interlace the fingers, little steeple grip, 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 grip. <laughs> Take it over to the left. Come back to center, a little side body stretch. Again, not something we tra traditionally do, but when it comes to the upper back, this is my favorite. Exhale, forward fold. And we're gonna hang out here. So we're just gonna let the hands hang. Let the head hang. Weight is in the toes. Nice bend in the knee. We really want to keep all the focus on the upper back. Relax the head and neck. And just visualize your spine breathing a sigh of relief.
very, very slowly. Keep a nice bend in the knee. Roll all the way up. Take your time. Arms come up overhead. We're going to take a little side body stretch again. Back to center, other side. Come back to center, palms come down, and we're going to take those nice three deep breaths again together. Grounding down, again, bringing your awareness to your feet, that support, that strength. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. One last time. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Just pausing a moment to feel some of the benefits of the practice before we make our way into Savasana. Now we'll slowly make our way back down, laying down. And I recommend bringing your feet flat onto the ground and even flipping your palms over and really focus on grounding because when your palms are flipped up it is said that you are wanting to receive the energy palms down means you reach the ground we'll come back to that sensation of full perfect ultimate relaxation Feeling that sensation in the feet and toes. Inhaling it up through the legs. Exhale it down into the hips and the pelvis. Inhale into the abdomen and ribs. Exhale into the chest, arms, and shoulders. Inhale into the neck and your jaw. And exhale all the way to the top of the head. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. And just taking these last few moments feel completely relaxed. Option to go through the breathing sequence again. Maybe do that five inhale, five exhale, or maybe just focus on your natural breathing.
last right where we are. Absolutely no rush. Please take your time. Stay a little bit longer. Relax. Thank you so much for joining me and pivoting and running with my last minute change in class. Um, if you're loving yin, if you're missing yin, and tomorrow passes are going on sale for our brand new first time ever four weeks of yin program. It is $80, so about $10 per class. You will get two full one hour yin classes on Sundays and Wednesday nights. And a copy of the class written up will be emailed to everybody that registers. So the only way you'll be able to get into the class is if you buy the pass and register because it's going to be um, through Zoom. And passes will go on sale this Friday through, I think, August 1st. So that way I have enough time to get you guys uh, the passes. So stay tuned for that. I hope you joined me. I hope you enjoyed class and you feel all relaxed and ready for bed and have an absolutely beautiful evening. Bye guys.